me thank the Gulen Institute for gathering in a place such as this uh, for all of you who are here. Although we do not say this in order to promote individuals, this place, this building of the people of the United States is a very special place. The Capitol, the Cannon Building which was built first, the Longworth and the Rayburn are where people gather who are in fact called upon to rise to the highest moral character and to be able to act in goodness and rightness. And the reason I start with such solemnness is because I am so moved by your presence and I want you to get a sense of history and appreciate this great institute. Ira, I thank you. And I thank all the leaders that are here. There are so many of my special friends. I don't want to begin to call the roll for fear of missing someone. Be reminded that we have done it democratically and without violence. That is something that we should applaud. But as you, you can do so without violence. The Gulen Institute reinforces how diplomacy, democracy can be used around the world. And I don't want you to feel as if we have failed because you're listening to the chatter of the constant news reporting of what's happening in Washington. They can't get along. There is something to morality, integrity, and character. There's something to holding on to your values. And in doing so, if there is a failure, I do not take up my arms against you. <laughs> Are in this place during this historic two days, and that you've gathered around essays dealing with the dialogue of civilizations, giving direction to what should be our next step. I can't count for you the countries that I've had the privilege of sitting with leaders and talking about issues. Whether I was sitting on the ground in Bangladesh with women who had been trafficked, I was talking to business people in Singapore, or whether I was in Sri Lanka uh, watching and looking at beaches that had been torn away immediately after the tsunami as we came to bring aid and to look at the enormous devastation. Peace is the great equalizer. It draws people together. I've not read all of the essays, but I know that one in particular spoke about the idea of military versus diplomacy. And as I bring this author up, let me say this, that I hope that what happens to you as you think and formulate the grounding and the policies that you will be committed to or feel comfortable with in your lifetime, always remember that things are not absolute. And so I want you to be able to take the democracy that we have and that you're being led and inspired by and understand that there will be times when absoluteness, absoluteness sometimes brings about violence because someone is not going to move on their position. But be willing to be in the business of finding solutions. And be willing to appreciate the distinction of other cultures. And so first I want to thank all of you and then I want to have the privilege of presenting to Ariana Shikori uh, this special certificate and presentation coming out of the University of Houston <laughs> and coming from the 18th Congressional District in Houston, Texas to thank her for her thoughtful expose and essay on how we can move the world forward. My challenge to you is to never lose your creative mind and always be willing to go the extra mile for peace.